Now you see what I'm looking for is that he does not change when he sees the pole. The canter shouldn't change unless you say so. So where we want the enthusiasm, we still got to keep the obedience to your signals. Keep him, keep him, keep him. Ah! Now, just walk a sec, come back here. A little longer, you assumed, and as you soften your hand, he dropped you into trot. Yeah. Now you might have, if you just kept your leg, but it's just how easy it is to go from cat to the trot. You just went like that and he trotted. Yeah. So just stay nicely in balance with him. Keep the rhythm, present him to the center. Center, 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 center. Do that again, that was fabulous. Keep it rhythmical, 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 rhythmical. Well done. One, two, three, four. Okay, well recovered. One, two, three, four. Pat him on the neck. Keep the rhythm. Keep the rhythm. One, two, three, four. Fabulous. One, two, three, four. Wow. Work at your rhythm. One, two, three, four. Pat him on the neck. One, two, three, four. Wow, I love it when they grunt and groan, it means they're making an effort. One more. Try to picture moving him on slightly afterwards, Stacy. Just keep him, keep him pop. Super. Just take your time. Just patiently a working trot and then canter. Super. Keep him straight. Might prick his ears, canter. But that wasn't very straight, was it? You've got to come out through here, okay? In the center, Millie, and pop. Perfect, pat him on the neck. And go. One, two, three. Okay. Pop. One, two, three. Super. And come, try and go out on the line you go in. Pop. Pat him on the neck there with some front legs. In the center. And canter. Fabulous. And canter. Go. One, two, three. Pat him on the neck. Now, walk a sec. When I was saying that his shoulders had to be coming up, you said, shall I sit back? Yeah. Uh, one needn't be the opposite. I could go to a jump like that, Millie, and not go before the movement. Yeah. I could go to a jump here and still go before the movement. Now, you thought he was too close to that, yes? Yeah, yeah. He sat back a split second early, and that's why his back feet touched that back rail. I, so what, when I landed, I sat... Yes, uh, you hadn't landed. All the time. You hadn't landed. Yeah. You've got to stay soft till his front feet hit the ground. Okay, yeah. So go down there again, just as you did, and just stay soft till his front feet hit the ground, then sit quietly up to ride him. Okay, yeah. Okay? Yeah. It's silly to hold off the front legs and knock it down with his back legs, isn't it? I've seen it on videos before I, I, I spread I'll sit. Well, I guess, if you know what you're doing wrong and you keep doing it, not me, you want it's a psychiatrist. Which is right, isn't it? Oh, I keep doing that. Hello? Working trot. And then, canter. One, two, three. Pat him on the neck. That is fabulous. Are you sure he's only 14-2? One of those 14-2s on the bike Yeah, exactly. They always said Stroller was 14-2. <laughs> Stroller was 15-1 if he was an inch. But they got him measured before, you know. How big actually is the bike? When I put the stick on him, he was 15-1, but he's measured 14-2. Yeah. <coughs> Keep it rhythmical. Wow.